everyone, I'm back with another layout and today we are going fishing with Papa. And this is a two page layout and I am using paper from close to my heart and it is called the Victory, or just Victory. Um, again, I have no idea how old this is, but you'll have to contact your close to my heart consultant if you want to see if it's still available. But any paper will work as usual. So um, what I'm doing is just one the 8x10 on one side and some photo strips on the other side, um, on the right hand side. And again I did these in Picasso. I did all the pictures in Picasso actually. So here we go. And let's see, I've already cut some of the paper. And I know that I want to use this green. And this brown. Clock right here. And this plaid. And I like it like that. And for the other side, I want to do, okay, so for this side, I wanted to do these strips. Let's move this. really busy for all those pictures. I don't think I want to do the green again. Hmm. I think I like that. Alright, so now I'm going to cut a strip to go underneath those pictures. up a little bit on the edge. And then we need to do a journaling, which is it going to be this? I think I'll use this piece of scratch paper, which looks to be basil. the edges of this paper with, I think this is stamping up, <laughs> I'm making a mess, anyway, the stamping up, um, what is that, just that edge, <laughs> I have no idea what that's called, it doesn't have a name on it, but I liked it, so I bought it. I use this edge a lot for my grandson's pages. It looks like an alligator to me. Alligator teeth would be perfect for it. Now, do I want to go like this? I think so. Let's cut some off of here. And this will go underneath the journaling. Just to get an idea here, move these over. OK, 
Okay, and I've inked my letters. I used bamboo, and these letters are, um, these are close to my heart as well. Let's see if I can fit my title on here now. not. Let's go. It's going to be a little bit different than the sketch as my as the letters I had to use are bigger than I paid attention to. I didn't pay attention. That's the problem. Okay, and I have some little letters here, and we'll do that. Okay, all right, so let's distress some edges here. Put that up there. I'm gonna distress these edges. So I distressed the edges of this strip with the Making Memories Edge Distressor. And I think actually I'm going to put that down right away. Because I know I want that there. Okay, and that means I can put these down. these edges as well. Alright, so I've distressed those edges and I'm going to leave that for just a minute. No, I'm just going to put it on. Okay. And then I need to some adhesive on my letters here. Okay. So put the G up here.
See if I can spell backwards. That's my problem. Everything's sticking to me now. Okay, so what I ended up doing was ditching the other letters and going with some basic gray from the Pyrus, Pyrus, P-Y-R-U-S collection. And of course the W's would not come off with their adhesive, so I had to use two, two V's in, in, to replace it. And this P is crooked. Of course I can't get anything straight today. All right, that is gonna work for me. All right, that's taken care of. Now, I think I want to put, this one's crooked too. I want to put something right here. Not quite sure what. That'll work. Pull this up. I'm going to have to reprint that. Anyway. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'll be good with it. I'm gonna cut a hole right here. can never pick anything up. I'm going to end up having to cut my nails off. I grow them out so I can be like a girl, but then I can't pick anything up. Okay, that'll just help keep it there. And what do I have for tape? And I have to reprint this, but we'll put it down for now. And I think
tie a knot. Fishing's about knots anyway, right? Okay, so I think I'm going to call this page done, this side done, um, and this will be a spot for journaling and I have to reprint that. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next side. And I'm going to distress these edges as well. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I've distressed the edges. They're all fuzzy now and I'm going to adhere them down now. that I should um, start making videos with music as background instead of me talking because I don't I don't always have a ton to say <laughs> and then you're stuck watching me but I don't want you to sit here watching me talk about nothing either like I am right now okay I'm going to put this paper on, or this picture on side. I need to move some of this stuff out of my way. There. And that is pretty much the layout. Let's see, how do we compare? Oh, I wanted to put the date up here. And I was going to do that with a Stampin' Up! Punch, of course. I don't know what this one's called either but we're gonna use it. If I can find a piece of paper, yeah, we'll use this one. We'll use these lines. Okay. Let's fold it in half. And this was April of last year, so that is what is going on the tag. Just the date. I don't always put my um, pages in books right away, so then I have a hard time remembering what book it needs to go in. There. Okay, so that is the layout for today. Here's the left side, and there's the right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.